Hi there. I'm going to tell a few things about Audacity. I hope this helps. Here's Audacity. Looks a little bit different because this is a Mac. Um, I've recorded some stuff from my uh, uh, from my uh, iTunes. Okay, just had some stuff playing. You can uh, record whatever you're you're recording. You know, from the web or whatever you're listening to on your computer. Here's how you do it. You get a cable with two male ends. One male end, see this is a male end that goes right in here in your microphone hole right there. The other male end either goes right in your earphone hole or it goes in a Y connector. Alright, here's a Y splitter. Okay. This is one male end right there. This this same co cable right here, same cable. And the other end is to my wireless speakers or your headphones or whatever you want. Plug it right in here to your headphone jack. In and out. That's it. That's all it is. Very easy. Click play. Go up here, click record. That's what I've got. Okay. Now let me show you a few things about what I've recorded. Now you see right here where it fills up this space. You don't want it to do that. That's lousy sound quality. Uh, there's a couple things you can do with that. Number one, you can go back here like I did. I selected this section here and I, I selected that section and I clicked the effect compressor. Let's try this again here. Do it with this section right here. Okay, select a little bit of that. Just, just for demonstration purposes, collect, select, select compressor. Okay, what a compressor does is it equalizes things, so you don't have it. You don't have all that uh, static and and garbage in it, and it brings it down to a more manageable level. Click OK. All right, there you go. Boom, brought it back down to something more near normal. Um, what you might want to, I don't know if you guys have a compressor already on the sound system, but you really, really might want to consider that. Audacity doesn't have a compressor that you can attach to the program while it's recording. You have to run the compressor afterwards. That's how it works with Audacity. But you can buy a piece of hardware that will compress the sound volumes for you. What that does in effect is it takes, and when Pastor Record or whoever's preaching goes really, really loud and then steps away from the mic and gets really soft, it's going to equalize that. And that would be a good thing. So with Audacity, you'd have to get a piece of, st a piece of hardware that c can act as a compressor for you, and that, that can be done. Um, or you can do it afterwards like that, but it's less effective. The other thing you can do... So here, this is supposed to be a much better sound quality. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can go along like I did here. See, later on, I started turning down the volume of what was coming out of my speakers. I just turned down the volume right here. See, my volume buttons. I just turned down the volume so it wasn't so loud. And that turned down this. And that is going to be sound levels that sounds a lot more reasonable. You want it to kind of look like that. It kind of fills it, but doesn't go over the perimeters, over the edges, okay? Um, what you can do if it's getting too quiet um, is you can do something like this. Select it. If, it. if the sound is too small, you can go amplify. Right there, amplify. I'm just going to pick something. How much do you want to amplify by? It'll suggest something. Just click OK. OK. There, it did it. OK, I didn't need to do it by much because it was pretty much fine, but that's just to show you what you can do. Now, what do I do with it? How do I save it? I've got my piece here. How do I save it? First of all, what you need to do is you need to have a lame MP3 encoder. That's a separate piece of software from Audacity. You have to get this separate piece of software from Audacity right here, Audacity. Go to the Audacity site right here. 
Audacity, SourceForge.net, help, etc., etc. Go to Audacity at SourceForge. Google it. Okay. How do I in in download and install the Lame MP3 encoder? Read this page. Do what it tells you to do. It's pretty easy. Read it. Do what it tells you to do. Once you've got the Lame encoder installed, all right. This is how you save it. Go over here to File. Okay. Export as. All right. Here's my choices: Wave, MP3, Og Vorbis, yada yada. Pick MP3. That's pretty much what you want. MP3. Or you can export selection as. If I if I went and I selected something over here, so you know, I'm gonna select this part. I want this part. Okay. Let's say I'm I'm recording a bunch of songs. I want this song or this section. Okay. I can export selection as. MP3. You can export that that section separately, which is a nice feature. Export as MP3. It asks where do I want to save it to? Okay, save it to my desktop in this case. What do I want to call it? You know the same same routine as how it, anybody saves things. Save. Do you want to replace it? Sure. Okay, there we go. There we go. Saving, saving, saving. Thinking, thinking, thinking. That's it. That's how you do it. It's very easy. Um, as to what all these buttons do, go to the help contents. Okay, this is really nice because it tells you all of this stuff. Table of contents. It tells you what every single toolbar does. Okay? It tells you exactly what each button does. Mixer toolbar it tells you what every single button does. I don't know what all these button does. Do, well, I don't know what all these buttons do. If you just go through this help library, it'll tell you. And the meters, see? Good, bad, it, it'll tell you all of this stuff. Okay? So that's how you do it. That's how you save. That's how you record whatever you're doing. Can't get easier than that. God bless, guys. Bye-bye.